Hi, my name is Austin, the Director of Sales and Business Development at Pitch Patterns, and this is my background story. So I'm having a passionate love affair with Latvia that began back in 2003 during a reconnaissance mission to Riga for a football tour for this motley crew, my university football team. Now this picture was taken pre-smartphone with our very own selfie stick, which was a, a fishing rod. And pre-Ryanair and pre-EU membership, the country was on a verge of great changes. It was almost too good to be true. As life in the UK seemed rather dull and predictable, and after flirting with the highly contagious Baltic bug, in my eyes, Latvia held seamlessly endless opportunities and with not much more than the clothes on my back and a slightly or ever optimistic yet slightly overexcitable head on my shoulders, I fell headlong into the heart of the Baltics. I even went into sauna training to prepare for my visit, as I assume that's what most people did weekend every weekend. My friends were saying that I'd become well and truly rigoroshed, and I thought it was yeah, all too good to be true. Yet, I have a pretty simple outlook on life. To be happy, you need to have high self-esteem, sense of optimism and close relationships. And a good friend of mine's dad, before moving to Latvia, said, yeah, interesting choice, Oz. It's a beautiful country, but it's full of walnuts. And I was like, I don't understand, Godfrey. What do you mean by it's full of walnuts? He said, well, the people have incredibly hard shells, but once you crack them, you have something real, really special, real value. And I sort of thought to myself, in order to have these close relationships, would it be possible to break that shell to create these relationships? And I'm glad to say, yes, we did manage that. And I'll come on to that. But being such a small market in Latvia, it can be very challenging at times. And doing business here, I sometimes compare to driving a Moscovich. That was my very first company car there on the left, the Green Millie. And because... Um, it may not be so fast and it can be really tricky to maintain at times, but it is a lot of fun, turns head and always needs to be managed pretty well. But Latvia is full of entrepreneurs. The amount of progress that I've been witness to and the enthusiasm of those entrepreneurs in the startup ecosystem here has been a true inspiration to me on a daily basis. We simply have to think global from day one. We live in a village after all. Now, this is a sort of brief overview of my uh, background. So I came in 2005. I worked in a school and I set up Riga out there that matured into travel out there. Um, then I developed an a, a, a iStack, which was designed for, uh, for meetings that then morphed into Get Focused. And now I work at Pitch Patterns. But the common baseline about all these different ventures is that they were all about connecting people with purpose, cracking shells, so to speak. Now, why Latvia? Why Riga? Well, all my friends were moving to London and they were sort of looking at thinking to buy a house for a, a million pounds, let's say, in like this one in North London. Now, this four-bed house with this beautiful garden here, and I just couldn't quite understand when I could buy a house in the north of Riga in Chirkul Counts um, for a fifth of the price or under a fifth of the price. And I certainly couldn't handle this commute in the morning when I could be having this commute in Riga every morning on my bike. And it's simply the best place to disconnect, to reconnect. The nature here is wonderful and uh, it's not far. Everything is close. And also whilst you're connecting, you can have the best views inside and outside. I remember sitting in the skyline here in Riga thinking that it could be New York, London or Paris. Now, with Latvia, you simply have to experience it to believe it. Latvia is a place where you can live the dream. you just got to believe. Thank you.